guys, welcome to another episode of Poco Lab. Don't look around, Angus is not here today. For me, my name is Luna. I'm the product marketing manager of Poco Global. Some of you might know, we have just launched two awesome devices just a couple days ago, Poco F4 and Poco X4 GT. Today, we are going to talk about these two awesome products and show you why we decided to launch these two together. Now, I know, as a POCO team member, I'm supposed to treat every product the same, but I'm only human, so I do play favors sometimes and I just can't help it. Luckily, I'm not the only one. That's why I have invited the product manager of POCO X4 GT. Let's welcome Cao Yue. Hey everyone. It's my honor to be here, especially with this beautiful lady, not Angus. As a product manager of POCO X4 GT, if you ask me to pick mm -hmm. up a favorite between those two, mm -hmm. I will have to say X4 GT. I knew that you were going to favor the F4. Yeah. So I'm just here to balance out this dynamic. All right then, I'm excited to see what you are going to say about POCO X4 GT. The first topic I want to discuss here is the processor. In my opinion, these two new products are both carrying a very powerful processor. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. I want to start with the POCO F4. So, F4 featured one of the highest frequency processors on the market, the Snapdragon 870. Now, I want to ask, what do you think are the most important factors for a good processor? I would say, Performance and power consumption. A good performance is key. However, if you want to have a sustainable usage in daily life, a low power consumption is also very crucial. Yeah, I know, right? A lot of people nowadays like to chase the exciting feeling for a new processor that has been launched to the market recently, but they forgot about how important it is to actually have something that is loved by the real users and that has been in the market for over a year. Yeah, I think it's very nice to say a processor, Snapdragon 870, stood the test of time and was approved by people. Okay, well, I don't think there are much to say about the Snapdragon S70 since everyone seems to know all about it by now. So, what do you have to say about the processor of POCO X4 GT? The X4 GT uses MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor, mm -hmm. which I would like to call it the dark horse of this year. It features 5 nanometer TSMC advanced technology. The highest mean frequency can reach up to 2.85 GHz. The most important thing is that the energy consumption ratio is even lower than some of its competitors. In my opinion, it's the processor of year. I see you have very strong opinion about that, which is good. It's always nice to see our product managers feeling passionate about their products. So, just to sum up about these two highly anticipated processors, they are both very powerful and can offer you a stable performance no matter what you are doing on your phone. Yeah, and both are very good at keeping very low power consumption and most importantly, don't overheat. Mm, yeah, we don't want to point fingers, but there are some pretty hot processors mm. out there. Now, let's talk about experience. One of the things I like about POCO F4 is how well-rounded it is in terms of experience. From its 120Hz A4 AMOLED screen to 167W turbocharging, there's just no shortage on any aspects. I can just take it out and go live my day. This phone would be the perfect. I mean, yeah, E4 AMOLED is always nice to have. What about cameras? Is there anything special? Well, I'm so glad you bring that up actually, because for the first time ever, we add the OIS, the Optic Image Stabilization on POCO phone. I think everyone can agree that it is the perfect feature to have in mobile photography and videography. It will really help to reduce image blurring without sacrificing image quality, and especially in the low light conditions. The benefits of OIS is even more obvious. 
Just take a look at some of the simple shots here. Look at the amount of details that were captured here and it still appeared to be very sharp. That's really cool. Now I wish that X4 GT has this feature as well. But since you mentioned experience, mm -hmm. the one thing I wanted to highlight of the X4 GT is the screen. It features a 144Hz LCD display. LCD? You will have to convince me why this LCD display is good for experience. I know, I know. People nowadays are obsessed with AMLED. But I want to say that LCD has a lot of advantages over AMLED. LCD adopts RGB standard alignment, higher effective pixels, sharper font, and it won't burn screen after long use. Moreover, LCD supports global DC dimming and carries hardware level low blue LED, which is further reduced compared to the sound of the AMLED. Alright, I guess that's true. And this particular display has a refresh rate up to 144Hz, sport 7 stage dynamic switch according to the content to match the refresh rate, makes the screen more smooth and more energy saving. Besides, it also supports tons of software features like true display, sunlight display, and Dolby Vision to provide the best view experience for our users. It's a well tuned display because we aim to be the best LCD in the market. And I think we've made it. Wow, okay. Now, since we have talked a lot about these two products for a while, let's play a game. The web's most searched questions. Okay, let's check out what's uh, trending in the internet. Good for gaming. Absolutely, GT was born for gaming. And as we mentioned, we have a quite good platform and a good LCD that supports 144Hz refresh rate. Wow. And we have a quite good battery life mm. and also support water cooling. Wow. Worth buying. Sure, go buy it. Don't miss out the chance. We have early bird price now. Is Poco X4 GT coming? Yes, we have launched it. Please check out availability from your local website and stores. Is Poco X4 GT waterproof? We are not that waterproof, but we can resist splash. It's enough for daily use, I, I believe. Yeah, no problem for daily use. Wow, another one. You are so well prepared. Yeah, we should treat every product the same. Is Poco L4 coming? Yeah, Poco L4 has been launched in June 23rd. Going to be sale. Well, the first sale day is June 27th. Don't miss it. June 27th. The release date, I guess I just answered this question. Yeah, same question. Yeah. Fans really care about this. Yeah. Price. Well, for the low warrior, the price, the early bird price is 349 euros, and for the higher warrior, Early bird price is 399 euros. For the L4 specs, well, we have Snapdragon S17 processor, we have 120 Hz AMOLED display, and a 167 watt turbo charging, plus a 64 megapixel camera with OIS. Such a perfect product, don't miss it. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Follow us for more amazing contents. Stay safe, stay curious. See, See you, you next time.